Good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning and I am on my way to work. It is definitely going to be a two Darth Vader butter day. I'm gonna put my Vaders into my Contigo and get some coffee when I get to work. I'm also going to bring along with me some energy boost because I need it and uh, hydration plus. Want to make sure that I get my electrolytes in. I'm going to get all of this in before anybody else in my home even wakes up. It's going to be a great day. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So I am definitely missing my sidekick. She should be right here. If you're new to our channel, I'm Joe. My wife Rachel is the other half of Two Crazy Ketos. And I'm not used to not having her here with me, especially in the introduction vlogs for the day. But Rachel had to go to the church to get set up for this coming weekend services. She does like all of the copying every Wednesday morning. She gets up really early and she goes, does all the copying, the prep work for the coming week services. And next weekend, we're headed off to the Florida Keys for a few days of camping. I'm excited to get back into the RV. So she's got to get this week's done and next week's done because then the following week, we're headed to Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Keto Convention, which if you're going to be in the area, please come join us. Come hang out with us. I'm going to leave a link for that whole convention and everything down below. I'm really excited about that. I know Autumn from Watch Autumn Keto is going to be there. Uh, Erica is going to be there. Uh, Bronson Dant is going to be there. And none of us are even speaking. We're just going to hang out with you guys. So please, please, if you're in the area, come join us. So uh, it is day 11 of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge, and I'm enjoying this. Now, if you're new and you have no idea of what we're talking about, or if you've missed some of the videos, I'm going to leave a link for the playlist for this entire challenge right up here. Basically, what we're doing is this was a challenge given to us by Dr. Barry, where for a month, we eat nothing but beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. It means no stevia. Now, when we say bacon, we're talking about pork. Uh, and we can have some seasoning so long as there's zero carb and we're not overdoing it. Like we can't have 10 carbs uh, or 10 cloves of garlic. Uh, and you know, you can't overdo it. But we can have like mustard and you can sprinkle a little bit of garlic on your, you know, food if your body can handle it. Some people's body can't handle the spices. We seem to be doing okay with it. And so far, I know Rachel is enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. And I didn't think I would. I definitely do miss my keto chow on busy days like this where I don't know what time we're gonna be able to eat because I've gotta go cut with Anthony and we've gotta cut the church, we gotta cut all of our houses, everything that needs to be done for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It all has to get done today because tomorrow we're going up to Universal Studios with Anthony. We're not gonna be home till midday Friday and then Friday night we have a football game. So this is a day where I would normally be relying on keto chow, grabbing one out of the refrigerator because that's what's so good about it is I can grab one of those. It's an easy grab and go. It's better than going to McDonald's or Wendy's and cheaper by the way. And I'm going to get a third of all my nutrition. So days like this, I definitely miss that kind of stuff and we're going to go back to it. But this has been a really good reset. One of the things for me that it's doing, it's, it's overcoming my fear of eating which I didn't even realize I had until I started this. But yeah, I've really struggled with, I'm afraid to put anything in my mouth because I'm afraid that the scale is gonna reflect it. And all I know is right now, we're eating a lot and we're eating good food. We're eating burgers and steaks and we're eating ribs and we're eating brisket and butter and, and you know, Maria Emmerich protein bread, but with butter mayonnaise on it, which we released that video this morning. I'll leave a link for it up here. It's amazing. But before I would feel guilty to put any kind of mayonnaise on my food. 
and now I'm like, yep, give me more. And I don't know what the scale says, but I can tell you, I right now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but these jeans haven't been able to wear them in over a year. And that makes me feel good. So, you know, all my clothes are looser. I know Rachel's getting into clothes that she didn't fit into before. And it's just, it's refocusing us. I'm definitely feeling a body recomposition. Um, I was interested to see what happened with our labs and we released that in yesterday's vlog. We were shocked by some of the numbers. I definitely didn't expect to see some of those numbers, but I feel good. Overall, our numbers say that we're healthy and this is just an exciting time for us and it's a great way to just refocus yourself on food, to refocus yourself on food is a fuel. Like in the past, I have lived to eat instead of eating to live and I'm sure you've heard that before and just eating beef, butter, bacon and eggs is really, it's taking the guesswork out. There is no Oh my gosh, what can I snack on? What can I eat? It's simple. You can have beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And it's been a really interesting journey. And we're not even halfway through. So Anthony is sitting over there going, hey, let's get going. We got to go. So I'm going to turn off the camera and we'll check it with you guys a little later. I forgot to mention for breakfast, I'm having two slices of the Maria Emmerich bread. This is just eggs and egg white protein. We're not using any of the allulose or anything like that. Uh, so I have two slices of it. If you want to see how to make that, I'll leave a link for Maria's recipe up there, not our recipe. So we don't really talk about the recipe itself in our videos. So, and then I have a little bit of our butter mayonnaise, which again, a recipe got linked this morning. Since Rachel's here at the church, let's go see if we can surprise her and say good morning. Good morning. Hey, I was just checking to make sure that our mayonnaise recipe went up this morning. Yeah, I did. We got a few comments. Good job. Yeah, it's really good. How you doing? I am doing great. I'm actually a little hungry, but, and I thought, why am I hungry? It's only 1030, but guess what? I started my day at 445 this morning. Yeah. That's so probably why. I already did our intro, so we don't have to go through all that. It was weird hey, what's sitting up? next to nobody mm. when I was doing the intro. Just an empty seat. It was just an empty seat. I should have put a cutout of you. That'd be cute. Could have put a picture in there of you. I need a standee. <laughs> So I wanted to mention what we ate for dinner after we turned off the camera last night. I had two pieces of the Maria Emmer bread with some of that butter mayonnaise we had just made and then one of the burger patties. I had three pieces of the bread, mm -hmm. no mayonnaise and no patties. You just ate the bread with no mayonnaise? I just ate the bread and conked out. I know. <laughs> Why didn't I eat the mayonnaise? But I just didn't. That stuff is so good. Good. I can't wait because I've got some interesting concoctions to make with it. Now, somebody asked in the comment section, can you use a stand mixer? You should be able to use a stand mixer depending on your stand mixer. We have the really big like raise up and down, not the tilt head. So we'd probably have to double or even triple the recipe. Otherwise, it just there wouldn't be enough in the bottom for the whip to actually. You hit may it. be able to make it on a tilt a whirl, but we didn't try that. <laughs> so we don't we don't know. What are your plans? My plans are to finish up. I was so excited. My friend Natalie came in and we printed up a bunch of uh, folders for the next eight weeks. Mm -hmm. So now there's just a sense of like, okay, we've got a next series coming up. That makes right. me very happy. Now we have to film it for online. That feeds my OCD, my CDO, it's that bad. So I'm gonna finish cutting the church. We have a couple more houses because we gotta get everything cut because tomorrow we're going to Universal and then Friday I've got a game. I have a two o'clock online call with somebody today and then I have a 430 JV game. This is a busy day. It is. This, this is really where yeah, I wish live we had, stream tonight. Yeah, I really wish we had keto chow today. I really yeah. do. Because I gotta leave the house by 345 to get to my game because I gotta be there by four o'clock. 430 game, get home at 630, live stream at 830. And then get up in the morning. We want to leave somewhere around 530 in the morning. I'm interested to see what we're going to eat on the road for beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Well, I feel hopeful because we just came back from Kentucky. Right. And we were able to find stuff. But we're going to be out with Anthony. So you got to find places where we could go. And he could go. And he could go. Like, I have a friend of mine, one of the guys on my crew, 
He said, hey, could we on my get together? Oh, you have coffee? I do. You want to sip on my coffee? No. Can, he was like, can we get together? I want to like pick your brain about football and some other things. And he's on my Saturday crew. And my first inclination, because we're playing here at Coral Springs, was, oh, we could just go to the wing place, to Wings Plus, like which is the best wings ever. Yeah, but you can't. They don't cook in um, tallow, like Buffalo Wild Wings. But the next best is actually to be cooking in peanut oil, which is what they cook them. And their wings are amazing. And I'm like, you can get a burger there. Yeah, but to sit in a wing restaurant. That's hard. And not eat wings, that's going to be really hard. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to set up the computer for Sunday and I'm going to get back out and cutting. And I guess I will see you later on at home. All right. So I mentioned it on uh, the morning, like introduction. These jeans have not been able to wear them in a year. I'm, I mean, yes, they're skinny jeans, but I your still wallet like is them. huge. I know. Look at my wallet to the air. But I can button them. I didn't have to, like you say, like jump off or anything like that. They feel good. They're comfortable. These were my old work jeans, and I haven't been able to wear them. I've been like wearing basketball shorts to work because I couldn't wear my work jeans. Can I just say thank you for sharing that? Because a lot of times we just think it's women <laughs> that deal with that, that do like the launch onto the bed to get their pants oh, on. Oh, you know, the, the suck in. Yeah. yeah. No, didn't have to do that. I just got us booked on a water site. What? Yep, site number 17, it just popped up. How fast were your fingers on that keyboard? I knew it was about to come because I kept seeing it like, and I was missing it. Because once you go to say you want the site, you have 30 minutes to purchase it. Oh my God. So I just kept the page open for modify reservation. And as soon as I got the alert that it was open, I jumped on it. Did you feel like you were fishing? And yeah. you know, you're trying to like hook that, that fish on. I'm excited. So we're in site number 17 directly on the water. It's not the best water site, but it's on the water. It's on the water. And I think that that will make you know, like pictures and videos so much prettier. I'm just thinking we could throw the paddleboard in right from behind our RV and Let's not even have it. to carry it all the way over to oh the beach. Oh my gosh. That makes me so happy. Okay, Rachel. You ready? Yep. Yeah? What did you call me? Called you beautiful. Oh, that's good. I like that. Don't call me late for dinner. What is dinner? Looks like egg salad. It is egg salad. We can have egg salad. Forget about these things. I don't know if you want a spoon or a fork. All of it. Like to put it on the bread. Uh, Yum. Look at these cute little baconies. Yeah, I made them. Look at this. It's great for sandwiches. Super fun. So I made them in the um, mini dash. Just take the bacon. It's perfect. You fold it up. You put it in there. It traps all the grease and everything. No splatter because you're covering it. And it cooks it much quicker than even regular bacon. And this is my style because it's like both fatty, greasy, and crunchy. Yeah, and then you got some carnivore crisp for dipping. What carnivore crisp is this? I don't know. I just grabbed the bag. Can you tell me? I feel like since you're telling me, you know, to use it as dipping, <laughs> and you're not like saying like, don't miss out on every bit of ribeye, that this is an organ. What organ is this? It's the heart. Have a heart, Joe. <laughs> I don't mind it. I certainly do no. not mind it like this. First of all, the heart itself, the heart ones, they actually don't taste much different than any of the regular meat ones. Very, very mild flavor. Good. But they're crispier. I was going to give us the brisket one, but they're kind of, because they're fatty, they're not as stiff. But why, like, wa waste it? Right. When I'm just using it as a dip anyway. I'd yeah. rather get my organ meat in. So you can use this, and because these are, like, literally like a chip... It, you know, really does dip well. Or you can just kind of put it in there if you want to get a little bit of texture. I like that. You know, into there. So, um, we actually have a review on the Carnivore Crisp. I'm going to leave a link for that right up here. We haven't released it to the public yet. 
So the only way you're going to see it is if you click on that link because it's kind of hidden from the it's public an, right now. It's an Easter egg salad. Yeah. Well, you know what it is, is right now with all of the vlogs, we don't want to like overwhelm everybody. Mm -hmm. So we already have two videos a day and we have like a whole bunch of videos. We have like interviews from, you know, Keto Palooza. We still have our whole Keto Palooza vlog. And I feel like we're already missing out because it's been a week since we've been home, almost mm -hmm. two weeks. Uh, yeah, so that one's hidden if you want to see our review on the Carnivore Crisp. We do have a discount coupon for it. It's Two Crazy Ketos. There's a link down below. Somebody did email us. It, it, it doesn't work on subscribe and saves, which is the same with pretty much every company. You can't double up on the, on the coupons. Yeah, that's just not a good business practice. Okay, so the egg salad. So we each have five eggs. I used the butter mayonnaise. Probably, I want to say, I did not measure it out. I'm going to say we used about mm. two-thirds of a batch. Okay. okay, there's still a bunch left, and we were already eating out of it. I just kept adding in until it was the consistency that I really wanted it to be. I did soften it in the microwave for about a minute on the butter setting. Oh, nice. And then I put in just like a tablespoon of bacon grease. Oh, nice. I added that in there. And then inside of the egg salad, there is four slices of bacon between the two. So there's two slices of bacon a piece. And then we have two more slices of bacon. And then we have two slices of the Maria Emmerich bread. But you got to realize this is really one slice because we take that single recipe mm -hmm. and we divide it into two mini loaves. I like it better that way. I feel like I'm eating more. I'd rather have two of these than one bigger one. It's, it's, it's a mind thing for me. I feel super accomplished that I've eaten more organ meat. Yeah. Like oh, I, you, I oh, did you ate it. it all. Like I did I'm behind. It. I did this. You know, it was so, something so cool that happened today. I'm not saying you have to do that, but they're really not bad. No, they're not. So something cool that happened today was I got to attend the award ceremony for one of our kids in kids ministry that was getting recognized as like a, a kid of character, mm -hmm. certain character traits, because they do it Zoom. Usually when, I mean, this is so nice. Usually when I get invited to stuff, like I love going to the kids' school plays, right. you know, any of their extracurricular activities. I've been to, to my share of football games, not when you're officiating, but when kids are playing. Yeah. So I can just, you know, um, support them. Doesn't want to see me. I don't want to, well, the kids are getting praised. You're getting yelled at, you know, it's a totally different experience. But it was so cool that I could be there in the Zoom meeting as she was getting her award and her award was actually um, her character trait that she exemplified was being a go-getter. Oh, and wow. I thought that is really good. So she was being um, spotlighted because when she gets a project or she has work to do, she doesn't dilly dally. She doesn't procrastinate. She gets right in there. She brings a lot of creativity and a lot of, you know, just present tense to whatever she is doing. And I thought, wow, I wonder what character trait would I want to work on so that I could get recognized in that area? And I thought, man, being a go-getter, that's a that's a good character trait to qual character quality to have. You're already a go-getter. You think so? Yeah. I think I can always do better in that area. So we're gonna finish eating. I have to finish editing yesterday's vlog so we can get it up. I have a football game <laughs> that I have to leave here for at 345. We need to build a boat. Oh, I know. Learn how to drive the train. Well, we just have a lot to do because we're not around tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're live streaming tonight. So if you're watching this on Thursday, um, there's no live stream tonight. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we will be back with our regular live stream next week. And next week, we're going to have Dr. Barry on. So I'm so really excited about that. We're going to talk about our blood work. We're going to talk about the halfway point. That's the best consolation prize there is. Of where we're going. Um, if you're curious, no, I am not drinking a Zevia. This is a Waterloo. Um, the, to me, I haven't had a coffee today, but there's no sweetener or anything. And like this, this is water that's been carbonated. That's been sort of. It's taking a shower a with a pineapple. So, so we're going to finish eating and then we will check in with everybody later on. Hey, Tabitha. Hey. <laughs> What are you wearing? I'm so excited about Vegas. Vegas is coming very, very soon. The Vegas uh, meetup. And I'm just, I'm ready. 
You're looking like a showgirl. I'm, you could pull it off. You I think mean, so? you've gotten so skinny on this BBBE. You could definitely pull it off. I I just like sequins. You. <laughs> I saw a steering wheel cover yesterday. I should have taken a picture when we picked up your car. Parked right next to my truck was another car just like yours with a sequin steering wheel cover. I purposely parked in between so that you could not see it because I would not drive a car with a secret. If they matched your shoes and your hat. There's no way I would drive that car. So I was like, I cannot let her see that because she would buy it. Are you ready for the live stream? I'm ready. I feel like, I don't know, like a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest. contest. So I got to go jump in the shower, live stream in 40 minutes. I just separated a bunch of egg whites to start another loaf of bread so that we can have some for the drive tomorrow. Yeah. We need to make some hard-boiled eggs for tomorrow. We need to get all of the new um, tumblers, like, you know, our new insulated mugs that we said were going to be on the website, you know, today. They have to be put onto the I website. have to actually take pictures and put them all on there. And we have to do a live stream. And I have to finish editing this vlog all before 5.45 in the morning where I have to drive three hours to go to Universal Studios. Are you ready for this? I feel just tired. I had so much fun tonight. Live stream was really good. Okay, so here's what we're eating. Pretty simple. We have more of these if we're still hungry. We've got a pork chop. It's a smoked pork chop we picked up at that Carol's place when we were in Georgia. It's good. And uh, look at the amount of fat on there. Mm -hmm. So it was already, it was pre-cooked. They had them there. They were smoked, pre-cooked, and then they said just cook it up. So we threw it in the air fryer. We have not had a pork chop yet. Can I have some of that mayonnaise? Yes, you can. And then we have the... Beef sausages, not the jalapeno ones, but from Sam's Club. I really want the jalapeno ones. And we each have one and a half of those. And uh, if we want more again, we have more. So we're going to make this really, really short. Any thoughts on where we're at so far? I think we're doing really good, but tomorrow is throwing a wrench in it. We've got to do it on the road. we got to do it on the road. With another person that's not keto. Right. So... We are going to try to get everything done that needs to be done now and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to finish eating because it's already like, what, 10 o'clock, 1045. I have to edit two videos. And we have to get up and leave at Anthony 4. wants to leave at 4 a.m. So should be fun. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.